what does um, what does this mean for the likes of yourself, Dahi, as a toy store operator at the minute? Hello, Andrea. Thanks for having me on. We, we have particular problems in, in the toy business, obviously, because this is our busiest time of year and we are closed uh, uh, for our second busiest month of the year. So you're going to be squeezing a lot of toy retail into, into 24 days. And unlike other uh, non-essential retailers, um, like fashion or, or electrical, we don't have sales, sales in, in January. They don't apply to, to the toy business. Um, people obviously don't want toys and don't need toys once mm. December the 25th is over. So you really are squeezing sales unlike any other uh, industry into 24 days. You which can, I don't think is responsible. Can, really. Yeah, can, can you do, you can do the click and collect though, can't you, um, Dahi, at the minute? Well, we have yeah, we have look, we have an online presence. We've built it up at World of Wonder Toys.ie, and we're doing call and collecting, click and collect. So our online business in World of Wonder Toys that I is, is working well, but it's very difficult, almost impossible to, to get the amount of sales required um, in the busiest, you know, 10 weeks of the year just online. It's, it's, it's just pretty, practically impossible. Uh, so you really depend on your stores to move all the stock. As I said, that stock has to be sold by December the 25th. And if it's not, unlike any other retail, I can't think of another retail uh, sector that 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 requires uh, that month of you know just November and December to sell everything. Mm. Uh, we don't have sales in January. It never, never, yeah. it's never a thing in toys, and it won't work in toys. Do you know? Do you know what, Dahi? Just when I have you with us, yeah. just stay with us for a moment. Um, both Dahi and David, who's also in in uh, County Kerry, because you just when you talk about the whole idea and the changes in the retail sector, I did mention there at the start that one of the bosses of Pennies has said that they hope to open some of the stores for twenty four hours when they reopen next month. This is their chief executive, George Weston, said that um, with more trading hours, they they would allow the retailer to try and recoup and get back some of the lost profits after being forced to shut the doors for six weeks in Ireland. On that point, Dahi, do, like, do you think would people like to see 24-hour retail? 24-hour retail, if pennies have such big stores and, and they don't have an online presence, it possibly might work for them. But we would be opening for extended hours, but 24 hours, we wouldn't, be too, we wouldn't have the staffing for that. Uh, and in regional areas that we are in, Munster probably wouldn't be as applicable. People wouldn't drive that late at night, really. Um, it would help, and we probably will do it when, when eventually we do get open. But what we're really trying to get to is get some special consideration to open toys a little earlier, mm. like they did with hardware and garden centres, because they were considered essential. I believe toys are considered essential. 